All right. Now it's time for arguably everybody's favorite and the best Metro game out there. We're going back in time. We're going back into 1994. Back when Nintendo was super and they presented <laughs> they presented a false name. Metroid 3. Nah, nobody calls it Metroid 3. Instead, they call it this amazing name. Super Metroid. And it is quite super. I'm your host, Ultra Director Jester, here with the Niskel, and we're going to play through Super Metroid and get 100% uh, of everything, just like we did for Metroid Zero Mission and Metroid 2 Samus Returns, much in the same way. I love this game. I have no real nostalgia with this game. Oh, the demo played for a second. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait! I don't have any nostalgia with this game. I didn't have Super Metroid growing up, and the first the first Metroid game I had was Metroid Fusion, and I played every other Metroid game aside from that one. I, I didn't play it until late in life, and on like the Wii Virtual Console, and I just I just can't get into it too much. It was it was just too too new. And it was just too vacuous, too widespread, and I kept getting lost. But I've been following a, a guide the last to kind of help get 100%. You know, you get, I don't know if we're going to get the best ending, but this is an ending, a way to do it. There will be some sequence breaks. There will be a couple of uh, route changes. We will, we will pull off some things up spectacularly. We will do things horrendously wrong. I think it'll be a pretty fun playthrough. And, uh... <laughs> I love this game. This is one of those games where if you know what you need to beat this game, you can fly through it. And that, yeah, and that was my problem. I tried to get in Super Metroid and it just got too, like, big and it was hard to tell where to go. I didn't know what the critical path was. I felt like I was just going in circles the whole time. Going by a guide, though, it's really opened up and, and now that I know everything, it's, you know, a lot more fun to play. So I'm having a better time with it this time around, at least. The thing that also blows me away about this game is its versatility. Exactly. And also the fact that it is... If you put this game in the right person's hands, and they will show you a brand new way to play this game. This is why this game gets partnered up with A Link to the Past randomizers. It's so good. There is such a wide versatility, like you said. You can you can find any kind of route. I mean, where I am right now, I just kind of gave up on the guide I was going by, and now I'm just doing my own thing because it's just so open to interpretation. Yeah, you can. That's how open it is. You can do this in reverse boss order if you'd like. I was about if, to say if you yeah. know how to do it. You can play through this and not get the screw attack. You can play through this and not get certain things. You can make it as hard or as easy as you want. You just have to have the know-how and how to maneuver in this game, and that can be the tricky part. By the way, this is what happened directly after we left SR388. Yep, we took the Metroid to Sarah Station, so that way we can use it to develop stuff like vaccines and that kind of thing, you know, for the benefit of humanity. Yep. And Samus took the last Metroid over to the space colony. So we were like, y'all good? Y'all good? Y'all y'all fine? We all right. cool? I'm gonna, cool? All right, I'm gonna go then. All right, peace. Go find the next thing. And then just before she even was about to leave, like before she even pulled out the parking lot, it's like, we're under attack! <laughs> that motherfucker wasted no time! Nope. No time! We make our way in here, we see that, uh, oh, well, uh, does it, it's not, not looking good, I gotta say. It's kind of empty. It's, well, it's, uh, maybe they're all, you know, uh, Hit away in a bunker. Maybe they're having a surprise party for Samus. You know, maybe you're right. Oh, oh well, well, she ain't looking to... Uh, oh, crap. Hmm. Well, all right. Uh, all's not lost. Uh, we just just gotta see if we... You know, it's it's a, it's a pretty big ship, I'd say. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe we can find... Uh, hey, 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 look, look, it's Metroid. It's, 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 check it out. All right, yeah. Cool. Sweet. Alright, so I'll just uh, take you back and uh, we'll take mm -hmm. you back to the Federation. Maybe they can find a better place Did to. Uh, oh! Oh, it's Ridley! Okay, that's not oh, good. Oh, God, it's, it's Ridley! Yeah, so uh, this is going by the logic of Samus Returns not existing yet, which, uh, which means all you had to go on was Metroid 2. Ridley wasn't in there. But he's back, and he is vicious. Well, if, we, if we're to accept the, can the canon state of Other M. That means Ridley can be cloned pretty easily. Well, uh, I mean, then that's okay then. 
Okay, so this could just be like, you know, a clone of Ridley, but still kind of the real Gridley. Yeah. Gridley. Gridley? I keep getting, <laughs> I keep getting Raiden and Gridley mixed, mixed up. <laughs> Raiden <and> Sidley. <laughs> So, uh, fun thing about this fight, it can end in two ways. You can either get hit too much, take too much damage, and you'll just, you know, fly off like this. You get, you get to below 30, that, that's what he's Later! Like. Okay, I'm out of here, I'm taking the main metro, and I'm gonna go do bad things with it, bye! That was some mode 7 there. But also, if you hit Ridley a specific number of times, I think it's 100 hits, and he goes away. But he does the exact same thing, so it's not like you can kill him or anything. And, uh, now we're, we need to leave. Yes, uh... Need to leave? I should probably take this time to explain a few more mechanics and a few more uh, things. Mm -hmm. uh, I am playing this on an SNES Mini. Just for variety's sake, but also because it's just you know, the most convenient way. Yeah. Get the better picture. Uh, I'm also using the uh, the CRT uh, filter that they have. Just kind of, you know, in, in the same way that uh, uh, douchey hipsters say that vinyl <laughs> sounds better. I don't know. I kind of like the CRT. It just kind of adds a certain kind of warmness. You know, it really kind of feels... Like, they, they just kind of blend together really nicely. It's taking us back to 1994. Yeah, it is. No, no, no. It just, it just looks real nice. We just can't leave places without them blowing up. There's also a timer uh, in play right now. There's a, there's an in-game timer going on. Yes. That kind of counts what which ending you're going to get and how much of a close damage takes off at the end. <gasps> oh, gosh. It also keeps track of how many items you've collected. And it, it doesn't play during door transitions when you're in the pause menu. Uh, when you're, you know, transitioning like in a cutscene like this. Like, now that now the in-game timer is going. Ah, uh, look at it. It looks so good. That Super Nintendo quality. Ah, uh, yes, it does. The reason to get a Super Nintendo and not a Genesis. This right here, baby! <laughs> Super Metroid was indeed Super Metroid. Whereas the last two Metroids had a lot of, you know, black backgrounds and one place looked like another. It was just a different color. With Metroid 2, you didn't even have that. It was just a different texture. Here, you had things like color and graphics and artistic design and everything just looks so unique. And they really spent a lot of time working on this map, it seems. It's a beautiful game. They actually have a map in the upper right. Oh, they that added, is they, nice. They added like a trillion new things. Some things that haven't even been seen since this game. Yeah. So they, they, they added to the music. They added to the atmosphere. They have like these filters, like this parallax thing with the fog going on. Mm -hmm. So it feels like it's musty because this is where, you know, this, this is Torion again. It's, it's been some time. It's been like, you know. This is the end of Metroid 1. Yeah, it's the end of Metroid 1. And it's been Metroid Prime and Metroid 2 and, uh, you know, uh, well, not other M yet, but that's after this, actually. No, don't, don't get your hopes okay, up, man. Well, okay. we'll get there. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, that's the old Torian. That's where we beat Mother Brain and then we escaped. So we back, better than ever. We're super now. Yeah, we are, but we're not super yet. We still... Oh, I think we forgot our morph ball here. Or as it's called in 1994, a morphing ball. Ah, before, you know, removing the ING was invented. But nobody calls it the morphing ball. It is the morph ball. Just sounds better. Prime uh, kind of retconned that, I'm sure. And so did Fusion, I think. So off we go. You can also learn a lot about game design from this game. Oh, yeah. In that... It's my belief that every item was placed before making the rest of the map. Or at least they made the map and then placed the items. It's like I heard before. Of course it's good. It invented the genre. It is true. Oh, I never thought we'd get these again. <sighs> okay, we're good. Missiles. Yep. I was getting worried too. I mean, we forgot the morph ball of all things and our gravity suit that I swear we just had. We just left with it. But nope. Decided to take it off. Well, you know, that's why she left it there is because, you know, the alert came in. She'd just taken her suit off and she's just like, oh, well, shit. Ran out. At least she had the car keys this time. That's how old this Metro game is. It, it takes five missiles to open a door. Mmm. <laughs> we are thankful for the quality of life that happens in later games. Yes. But don't get this game wrong. It's still really good. It invented the genre, after all. It still kind of has that Nintendo heart of 1994. I do like that it invented the concept of a freaking run button. It, oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, look at that speed. I gotta say, though, uh, playing on the uh, SNES controller feels pretty damn nice. It does. It, it feels like it was designed for this game, almost. 
I actually played this game for the first time on cartridge. Pretty good. So you had it good from the start. Yes. Although Zero Mission was my first Metroid game. Ah, oh, pirates! No, no! I guess they caught wind that I was here. Huh, well, I mean, they did see me with their uh, cameras that they can do now because of the improved graphics. And uh, yeah. Oh, I just pieced that together that the cameras were the only reason the pirates are here now. Because they saw me! Yeah, I, I didn't think about it. That's another thing about Super Metroid. This is before, you know, in-game cutscenes were invented. So we had the one at the beginning explaining the game. We had the leaving of the space station. And then now we're here. So you kind of have to figure out the context within the game itself. Yeah, the, ga the game doesn't do a lot of hand-holding, and I think some people appreciate that, especially with, you know, Fusion being so linear. Yes. But, uh, you know, I think Prime more than makes up for that. <laughs> <laughs> Prime games definitely have that kind of super aspect where it's like, oh, where do you go now? But it still has that kind of, kind of, you know, modern quality of life that the later Metroid games have. Like showing what colored doors are on the map. You notice here, there's no doors on this map. It's just a line. Somehow when rooms vaguely connect, you gotta figure out where the door actually is. <coughs> well, it seems to be better. Also... Like make your own map. It seems we've also woken up all the local monsters, so that's that's not a good yep, thing. Yep, everybody's awake. Everybody, you know, the pirates are coming in, and they probably just disturbed the local wildlife just for that, so all right. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Let's do it. Five missiles to open a door. Ugh. But hey, at least each missile pack gives you five missiles. There are a lot of missiles here. We, Two, will, we, will, we will have a plethora in no time. 250, I believe. Yes. 255? I don't know. I know there's an extra missile pack in the game specifically for players who may not have gotten enough missiles. I know there's at least one missile pack. Aha! Uh -huh. Nice, nice. Got save station. We got an item up there that we can get now that we have Morph Ball. Pretty, uh, you know, basic Metroid setup. Hey, I don't have the thing to get the thing. But I got this other thing. Let's use that thing to get the thing. Well, the best part of uh, you know Metro games is late game. And you have access to all this stuff, and, move, and you can go back to these old areas and be like, "Hello, boys!" and just blast right through. <laughs> I do like that it's slowly filling in the map for you with pink, showing that you've been there before. It's, it's just good progression. It's a good uh, way to maintain you know the pace of the game. I don't know if I should save this tidbit of information until later, but, uh, Gunpei Yukoi. He made the Virtual Boy and this. There are two men at work in the Metroid, uh, franchise. There's Gunpei Yukoi and Yoshio Sakamoto. Sakamoto's still with it. Sa Sakamoto's still with it. Gunpei Yukoi died in a car accident in 1997. And he was kind of laughed out of the company. Well, not almost. Well, not laughed out, but... Eh, it's the Virtual Boy's fault. He, he lost a lot of his credibility with the Virtual Boy, we'll just say. So, and that's why there hasn't been a lot of Metroid in the 90s. It's just this game and appearance in Smash and that's it. Uh-oh! So, uh -oh. so Sakamoto kept it going. And he's pretty, uh, set in his ways. Yeah. It's kind of the reason why that. Other M turned out the way it did. But he's also the reason why Metroid Dread turned out the way it did. So at least there's that. Hey, nice job on the Chozo statue. Oh wait, no, it's not dead. I thought it was uh, dead. Uh, oh, My uh, bad. It's 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 it's, it's rib cage is open, so mm -hmm. there's there's that. That's gross. Shoot the gross thing. Yeah, uh, one thing I like about the whole god. Oh, yes, I'm missing his head. What like, is this thing? I like about the um, the fun things you can do in this game. You can actually skip this entire fight if you are fast enough. It is hard to do, though. It is extremely hard to do, but you can run and jump through the door before that thing even has a chance to activate or even close the door. Like, you basically have to already be running and already be mid-turn by the time you grab that missile. Yeah, it's it's a fun sequence break. Yeah. I, I don't know all the breaks, but I know quite a few of them, so if we don't see them, I will talk about them. Like, like there's ones that are dev-intended and ones that, you, that you're like, okay, now you're being cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> well, the door skip is very cheeky. You can't do that. Do you think maybe the crap programming of Metroid and the, you know, lukewarm reception of Metroid 2 left them to kind of opening the game up like this? Uh, I don't know. Maybe this was a Hail Mary pass. Hmm. 
think about it, it's just like, hey, if this one doesn't work, you, you think we should get rid of Metroid forever? Maybe one of those Final Fantasy stories. It's like, hey, I've only got one game left. If this doesn't work, I'm out. And then it sold gangbusters. Nintendo doesn't really retire their franchise. They just kind of leave them dormant for a while. Cries in Captain Falcon and F-Zero. <laughs> Well, they've, they've been trying to get it back, but I don't think it's just up to that level of quality yet. I think it's because Nintendo doesn't know what to do much with sci-fi. That's why there's no Star Fox, there's no Metroid, there's no F-Zero. Well, that's why they they hired Platinum Games or bought them. <laughs> They'll have them deal with the sci-fi. So now they're making Bayonetta, which is... I don't even know what it is. <laughs> it's an action game. Sci-fi, religious, oh, allegory. Excuse me, it's a platinum game. So here's a little speed tip you can do. You can either bomb all those blocks or just run up here. Yeah, I love Doop. it. There are shortcuts in this game. Dev intended, obviously. But they make going through this game a dream. It'll be annoying to get to certain items. But they thought of you coming back and having it not be annoying anymore. So good on you. Can't help but think that Dark Souls may have been influenced by something like this. The way forward isn't always clear, but you can kind of play your own way in your straight. I mean, there's obviously massive differences, but I think in their in their kind of tone and scope, it might have been something akin to this. Uh, that's possible. I thought you were actually about to say Super Metroid is the Dark Souls of Metroid, and I was about to slap you from across <laughs> no, this room. Oh no, no. First E-Tank, very good. Yes, uh, we'll have an abundance. I think this is also the first Metroid game where you're allowed to use the triggers to aim. Yes. You can only go in diagonals, but that's good enough. When you get used to it, it kind of works. Kind of like the the uh, Mercury Steam Metroid games. When you get used to it, kind of works. Frame is wonky and the counter is, is tricky, but if you get used to it, it kind of works. Oh, we're all on our way to Torian. Yeah, just to show off what we need to do. Fast game. This is basically one of the uh, few bits of hand-holding, you, know, you know, in any direction. You gotta go find the guys that look like this, kill them, come back here, and then you can go and kill Mother Brain and get the fuck out of here. Now let Coming me- for you guys! You guys are gonna die! That's right! Yeah! Now let me just say, I played this on cartridge, no guide. <laughs> so when I saw that statue, I was like, oh, that looks cool. <laughs> I well, did, didn't even imagine that it said, oh, by the way, these are your bosses, beat them and come back. I think that's kind of the way this game is intended to be played. Just, you know, wander around, explore yourself, get your own strength, find an item that you maybe didn't find before in a different place, and then you just comb through it all. I love that. That's why I'm so glad Castlevania has gone this route. Mm -hmm. That's why they're called Metroidvania. I know. It made them so much better. Castlevania is hard. <laughs> I like when I can get stats. I like a challenge. They are challenging. Every now and again I do. I think Mercury Stream is about as hard as I'll go for challenge. So you're very selective when it comes to challenge these days. You don't want to get annoyed. No, I mean, it's just like... I know the feeling. At what point am I no longer feeling challenged, but feel like I'm just, you know, hurting myself now? <laughs> I don't know, when, when you touch the controller and it goes, OW IT HURTS! Not fast Ooh. enough to get that so we can get this missile at least. Are uh, you gonna... You gonna do it? See, that, that's what I was hoping for. You don't know what I'm going to do, and I don't know what all there is to do. Hmm. So, like, what? You mean where I can actually skip that and go through the... Well, no, I didn't do that. Okay. That's, that's not one of the things. So there is a sequence breaking technique called Mock Ball. Mock Ball is when you are in ball form but have running speed. That helps you get through that gate early and you can actually get an item that makes you skip an entire mini boss. But we're doing everything so we don't need to skip that. Yeah, we don't need to skip Spore Spawn even though everybody should skip Spore Spawn. It's a really dumb boss. Nobody likes Spore Spawn. Stupid plant. It's very basic, very Donkey Kong Country. Ooh, there's a boss over there. Oh boy. Let's go kill it. Let's go kill it! Let's knock down his door and say, hey, what's up, punk? You owe me. <laughs> now I'm just visualizing the bosses going, what do I owe you? No, stop! I didn't think I owed you anything. 
I thought we killed her. What's happening? And then Crane gets PTSD. <laughs> Samus, she's back. <laughs> oh! He imagines himself as a little baby reptile and <laughs> as a garter snake. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do, Ridley? You shut up. We just gotta kill her again. What if every character in here has PTSD? Like, these little crab guys, they remember the time when they were alive. I'd like to bring up a really excellent Metroidvania, Hollow Knight. How much do, you, does the knight have PTSD? How much have you played of that? Uh, not a lot. At one point, you get something called the Dream Pick. Hmm. It's basically an item you use to get to the other side, and you access the dreams and story story blah blah mm -hmm. blah. It can help you warp, it help you, helps you do powers, it's, it's just, you know, a neat, a neat little thing you can have. It. But you can also read the thoughts of every enemy you encounter. Oh, cool. So, unlike these basic enemies, like, you know, ones that just crawl forward and maybe have an armor shell or whatever. <laughs> it's, it's just, you know, it's like, you know, forward, crawl, it's me, speed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to eat today. Go, go fast. I'd love to do Hollow Knight, but it's fucking exhausting. Aha! The charge beam! The charge beam! Some people get the charge beam a lot later. I, I like to have it. It's, 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 it. it feels nice. I like to shoot a lot. So I'm gonna pull it as an advance. If you God. don't like, you know, people excessively shooting. God, this is in the vanilla spot. This randomizer sucks. <laughs> Basic joke, I know, but... The only thing that's we'll random is the it. route I'm going. You don't know what I'm gonna do! I don't even think I know what I'm gonna do! What am I doing? Help me, please! I need an adult! <laughs> Oh, we can't get through that door yet. Nope, that's a power bomb. I don't think there's any real way to skip that. You know, you were almost able to do the old skip from Metroid 1. Yeah, that one. Metroid speedruns are fun. I tried doing that, but I don't think I'm fast enough to, you know, shift and unshift and morph ball, but I, got, I did get stuck in the doorway! And then I died in it because a projectile came through as I was transitioning. Speaking of dying... My yeah, dude. No, that's, oh, my dude. No. My dude. I'm sorry. We just. Oh my god, she's a girl. <sighs> well, there's find, the game over screen. Yeah, find the Metroid well, larva. I, oh, that's a long way back to go. Yes, it is. You died. Well, if you hit the reset button on the SNES Mini, uh, this happens. Just go ahead and. Uh, yeah, you go back, you go back to there, and then you can just go ahead and hit the X button and do a rewind. Let's get to place where we're not fucking dying. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, well, it, it, just right it, there, it's, it's fine. Oh yeah, okay, we'll do that. It beats getting everything over again, so we'll go with that. That is hilarious. I'm so glad the SNES Mini is working for you. You know, like I've had much integrity in these playthroughs till now. It's not like we're gonna have this to speedruns.org or anything. <laughs> It laughed me out of the building. At any percent run. <laughs> it's the UDJ percent run, please. You know, it's not even a percent. It's like a sharp. Maybe it's the UDJ run. Just that. Just run. It's kind of like ampersand dollar sign. You know? Any and, any and dollar. <laughs> I've got wingdings percent going on right here. <laughs> Dang you! Ah! Ah! Careful. This guy wants some cookies. And yeah. Samus is selling. Yeah. Oh god! You hurt me- Oh, why am I missing so bad? Come on, come on, come on! Oh, there's three, there's of, three them. of them! Luckily, a charge beam takes out most of them. That's good. And I didn't know you could take their wings off. Normally, they're dead before I get to that point. Well, I'm not that experienced, okay? You're teaching me things. I'm happy about this. And I think this is Spore Spawn. Yep, we're gonna do them first. Get them out of the way. Okay. Mini boss time. It's fun to see how much I remember. It's fun to see how much I'm deviating. Because <laughs> no, nobody will do this route. It's too slow for a speed run, and it's not the task because I'm a human who, who stinks. <laughs> I am a human. And it's not like I'm completely blind because I'm using a gun and I know exactly where I'm going, and I just you know, I, uh, practiced before I did all this. So... T Good <laughs> job. <laughs> who knows where the ship's going?! I put the... I put the autopilot on random! We're going anywhere, baby! I'm going down with this ship! Oh, duck, man. Come on. I, I you're, know, you're I know. You're getting hurt. You're getting hurt. <laughs> Kill that plant. Oh, I hate this thing. Everybody does. It's because it's a slow boss. It has really dumb music. <laughs> it's dumb. 
It's dumb and stupid and all these spores just give you stuff. Yeah, it's not the most, uh, it's not the greatest hits on the Metroid soundtrack, gotta admit. <laughs> so, sounds like Torgo's theme for Man of the Hands of Fate, but you know, whatever, whatever. Ah! <laughs> You keep getting hurt, and I keep getting sad. <laughs> Again, I'm, I'm 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 a fusion boy. I like ah. I like running fast. I like it when I don't have to hold a button in order to dash. I like it when I when I can shoot like more than three bullets on screen. Ah, oh, he's fast! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Ow! Oh. Remember, we're in super territory. And super territory doesn't take kindly to fast shooting. I'm I'm a long way from home. <laughs> oh, oh God! God. Oh. I think this might be like like glass. <laughs> Spore spawn is basically the glass Joe of, me of the Metroid series. He might get his first kill. Am I having a bad time here? <laughs> Am I not doing well? I mean, ah. he just got you caught in him again, so he's doing great. Ow! <laughs> I need that! <laughs> I do like his attack pattern of just like softly biff you in the head and it works. <laughs> there we go, shoot him! Ah! Spore spawn, come on! I will, I will not let him beat me. It's not happening because he keeps dropping these spores that give me energy. When they give me energy at least. Ah! Maybe, Why there? Maybe this is just his way of making fun of you. Maybe just, I should just hang on the right side or something. If you stay Ow! stayed on the right side in ball form, you might be able to avoid attacks. Ow! Just is based on what pattern he has. By the way, he is in dark green, which means yep. Yeah. He's dead. Good job. You killed Spore Spawn, and you killed all the plant life here in Brin Star, I think. So as you can see, we are in great shape. Uh huh. No, this is great. We are we are we are we are good to to pull off some harder tricks later on. It's it's El Perfecto. Gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. And all of that, because every boss is hiding a little something, I believe. Yeah, usually. Oh, there's another refill station here. But come down here. This is gonna hurt. Dink. And... Super Missiles! All right! Super missiles are really good. You get five each, which is incredible. That, that is actually fantastic. There's not very many of them. I think there's only, what, ten of them? Yeah. Uh, there are 50 super missiles in total. Yeah, so there's only ten of them. Mm -hmm. Ten packs. Well, I mean, there's nine more to go. Compared to there being, like, what, fucking 46 missiles, uh, 14 E-tanks, yeah. and ten power bombs. So what's cool about super missiles is shooting them in a general area can knock enemies off the ceiling. And also, each super missile counts as five regular missiles. Which means you can open red doors with one super missile. Correct. And, and also, just they're extremely powerful. And this is my problem with Super Metroid. You have to push a button to swap through your missiles. It, yep. Again, I was I was a fusion. I like, I like holding R for the missiles. Instead, it just makes me aim up. I don't like that. Like, like holding L and being able to, you know, do the eight direction aim, that's nice. Surprisingly, Metroid Fusion, having less buttons to work with, worked a hell of a lot better it, than Super Metroid. It worked really good. It feels like there's just too much going on. It kind of has that Samus Returns kind of problem. You got a lot of stuff, but a lot of cool stuff, though. Mm -hmm. A lot of really cool stuff. I believe we're on our way, on track to the boss. Yep. Ooh, these doors. All right, so depending on the color is how you open up these doors, blue being your regular blaster, you can do some fun sequence breaks later with specific doors. So I hear. Because, you know, it's on the Super Nintendo. There's only so much you can do. All right, run. And they did whatever they could. This is like, what, the, the, the biggest SNES game of the time? I believe so, yes. I forgot what broke the record, but it was it was biggest at the time. And yet, this game is still small enough to share ROM space with A Link to the Past. <laughs> Which is hilarious to me. That's just optimization of modern technology. No, I mean, some like, even back then. Some people kept moving on to the N64, brand new tech, and they abandoned the old software. Some people stuck with the old software, and they found new innovations for it. New time saves. Ah, health refill station. Ah, that's nice. That's nice. Drink that Sunny D. Alright, so, uh... 
I think it's about time we start something. Yep. Ew, water. Yeah. Where's the gravity suit? I apologize for my lack of skill. I know some of you speedrunners have wince at my play at my play style, yeah, and I, right. I'm not proud of this either. But I'm gonna I'm gonna try this. I'm learning as I'm doing this. All right. See, this is why I like watching so, casual playthroughs every now and again. All right, I pulled that off. All right. That was pretty good. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> let me show you a trick called IBJing. Yeah, I thought I had a pattern, but it just wasn't working. Going from the Switch uh, online, where I was practicing, to the SNES, I think may have messed up my rhythm. But eventually, there enough you patience, go. enough practice, there you, you can go. just brute force your way up there. And there you go. You didn't want to wall jump up there? I'm not good at wall jumping yet. Okay. Yet. All right. I, th I thought IBJs would be uh, would be easier. And besides, for something later, I'll need the practice. And all of that for the spacer. Spacer beam. This makes shooting a lot easier, though. That's for sure. That's good. Then you know while we're here, it's good to have. We're in the neighborhood. You know, we're no longer in the wrong part of town. We're in Super Metroid, baby. I like the sound it makes when I fire it. That is nice. Satisfying. There's a lot of good sound effects in this game. It's a nice. It's got some oomph, baby, yeah! <laughs> it got that oof! Oh, I hate these guys. Yeah, they suck. They really suck. They're bad. They're, They're awful. The little grabby guys. They grab you and put you in the water. They're no friend of mine. Ooh, this is a nice transition. This actually stumped me back in the day. I didn't even consider what I could do in that area. Yep. And, you know, you just flip it through your stuff, and it's just like, oh, well, is, is this gonna work? Is this gonna work? I, hey! Yep, I'm gonna try this. And this, for some reason, was a lot harder. I just, I just could not find the right rhythm. But you can IBJ up here, too. And that's still what we're going to do for the looks of it. That's what we're going to do, and it probably took about 15 minutes. I think you can actually run and jump up there. Really? Yes. Well, I wish I knew that back then. Well, you know that now, so at least there's that. Yeah, you can definitely run and jump up there. And that just shows how versatile you can be. I'm pretty sure an expert wall jumper could get up there no problem, too. Or oh, absolutely. Even the task, but here we go. <laughs> I love this. This is the first time ever in, yeah! any, in any of these Metroid games that I'm actually going to know as much, if not more, than you. Ah, oh, this is going to be great. I like being smart about video games. Knowledgeable. Knowledgeable. I can't play them worth a damn, but I do know a lot about them. And you know what? I'll take that. Oh, the door's locked. I guess we gotta... Hit up here. Gotta do something first. Maybe come in here and... Say hi to... Oh, these guys. Hey, guys. Friend. I like the charged spacer. It's nice. Ow! Fuck, but it takes a long time. Spacer also goes through things, if memory serves right. Uh, or am I thinking of something else? You're thinking of plasma. Oh. This, this just makes it a three. Come through here and... Oh, hey. A save station that I think I will use. I'm not going <laughs> back all the way and, you know, using a rewind. Ah, oh, come on. You got plenty of save state spots. And right there is a state where I can save. <laughs> I love it. We're going to do it legitimately, even though I have a glorified emulator. <laughs> but perfectly fine, by the way. It's on official hardware, so... I mean, it is on official hardware. That means stable. Yeah. yeah I, don't, no. I don't see any frame drops yet. There hasn't been any, like, you know, poorly performing Nintendo console has there. Nope. Like, I don't even think that was the Virtual Boy's problem. No, yeah. the Virtual Boy's problem is just it was fucking red. It ran well, but it's just... No, uh, it's still just annoying to the eye. Oh. All right. I really liked this. This is a good, like, gotcha moment. Oh, hey, look, it's Kraid. It's Quaid. Yeah, that was Kraid's original size in Metroid 1. But we, we did it. We killed him. But uh, in case you forgot, this is <coughs> Super Metroid. Mm -hmm. So we need to put the Super in Super Metroid. How are we going to do that? Well, I'll have this guy get eaten by... Wait a minute, are those X-Parasites? Let's take another look. Hold, hold on. Uh, we well, let's collect this item here. I, I know what you're doing, and then we'll go check. I doubt that's X. I just see if some things scatter away. And there is like some yellow liquid mm. indicative of an early X infection. I think they're just monsters. Mm. Maybe. 
I still think X is a fusion only thing. I don't know. The, the uh, parasitic thing has been in the works. Nah, for, those are bugs. I don't know. Yeah, those are bugs. But look, look what they left behind. That doesn't look. Well, it's a mucus. It's gross. So three regular missiles or one super missile to kill that door. And how about some super? How about some crad? D now. <laughs> oh hey, it's crad. How's it going, man? Look, he's even waving at us. Hi. Hi. And <laughs> Sam's like, "Wow, Craig! My God, what a blow up! What a glow up! You're looking so much better than how oh, he's tall now." Thanks for working on my figure. I've been I've been working out at Planet Fitness every Saturday. Oh I've been lifting weights at home, and I've been I'm on a treadmill, and I'm on this uh, this paleo diet. It shows. It just you 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 never look better. Thanks, thanks. All right. By the way, did you bring the potato salad? You know, Ridley's all about cloning and stuff like that, but I'm <laughs> like, hey man, you know, if you, you gotta love the body you have right now, you know? You know what they say, healthy life, healthy life! <laughs> That's right! Now time to die. <laughs> <laughs> I have a strange feeling. That's how Samus ends a lot of her conversations with all these enemies. Oh, see, you're doing great! Okay, time to die. Aw, oh, you, you goofed the super! Yeah, oh well. Alright, so there is a technique that's used in a lot of speedruns called Kraid Quick Kill. Basically, you shoot so many super missiles into his big stupid mouth, he dies before he raises up to the second floor. It's amazing to see, but yeah, there is a way to quick kill this guy. Uh, I, I should warn you, I am playing the game, I mean. Mm -hmm. No, I know. Saying it for the peeps at home who want to become future speedrunners of Super Metroid. I, I, I gotta get better at wall jumping. I, I, I can do it. I do get better. I just, I just, I do, you, do you run and jump? Or do you just normal jump? It, it, to, to wall jump... No, I mean, right now. Is that what you're doing? Because I think if you hold the run button... I was trying to do that. Oh. That's a wall jump. Yes. But I think if you hold the run button and jump, you can get up a bit more height. Oh. Oh, I killed him anyway, so we're... <laughs> Okay, bye, Samus. Good to see you again. There we go. And he keeps posting awful vegan memes on Samus's feed, and he's like, ugh. <laughs> and all of that for this various suit. I keep, almost said space jump. Keeps talking about Samus's, you know, you know, weight and fitness, and keeps asking him to work out and all that. He's like, oh, great <sighs> God. I mean, that's what uh, she saw him doing when he was in Dread. He was just working out. Mm -hmm. just, oh, no, he's just hey. getting buff. It's like, God, oh, fucking you! <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, when he jumped forward and trying to attack her, that was actually just so she could hear his amazing singing voice. <laughs> no, I'm in, like, a barbershop quartet. We're like, you know, we've got, like, a Grammy waiting for us. We'll call us back, they said. We're totally Grammy-nominated, though. Can't wait for the awesome record deal. <laughs> Alright, so remind me, what does Various Suit give you? So Various Suit... Is basically a mistranslation of barrier suit. Oh, that's no way to see it. So well, I, but guess it I guess I guess Varia took because it's a special suit that uh, makes it so that you can go into hot places. It also reduces damage from enemies, which is also nice. Now you still can't go into lava. We need something else. No, we need the gravity suit for that, which is a stunning shade of purple. All right, I'm having a hard time here. I, I noticed. Just, God damn it. Uh, it's gotta be a way to just maybe wall jump up there. I mean, oh, typically yeah. you have high jump before you come here. I'm finding not really. Uh, just uh, you can totally make that. Oh, I okay. can. So, so your your next recording session. There. Please hold down the run button when you jump. You okay. will go so much higher. It's kind of hard to do because I have shoot as Y, run as B, and jump as A, and just my thumb is big, but I can't just get all three of those. It's awkward. Time to change the controls again. I can't. It's I got. I'm like used to it now. It's comfortable. <laughs> oh, these guys. Yeah, oh, they're nice. Yep. Just they're have them all jump on you and use uh use a missile. I think. Yeah, oh yeah, there we go. Yeah. Bombs. Uh, there should be one item in here. There it is. The energy tank. Ding. There's two. You get a lot of e tanks in this game, by the way. Like a lot of e tanks. Maybe more than you need, but... Oh, definitely more than you need. I guess that keeps the traversal going in, so that you find a lot. 
so that you can survive and have to find the lords. I mean, the four guys you gotta kill. This is also how super the game is. Yeah. Off to Norfair, I think. Yep, off to Norfair. I believe this planet only has five areas? It's got five areas. It's got Brinstar, Norfair, Meridia, well, six. Criteria, Wrecked Ship, and Torian. No, oh, and Torian. Technically, yeah. Brinstar has two areas to it. Yeah, and in a technicality, Norfair has two areas as well. So let's not min let's not mince words about it. But next time on Super Metro, we'll be taking care of Brinstar, doing a little bit more sequence breaking and more fun stuff. Ooh, be a great time. And uh, meantime, just, I think I'll just chill open, here. Open up these doors here. Yeah. Maybe hop, hop on top and just you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ah. All right. See you next time.